see, here's my welds at work. With my work welder. It's not me, it's my welder. <laughs> I can weld. It's kind of dark, but this side fits in. Um, doesn't actually hit the control arm bracket like the other side. Uh, it actually just kind of fits right in. It does, when I start to spread it out, it does start hitting into the cross member like the other side did. I don't have to hit it out or bring it out. But I might do that dent and bring it out a little bit anyways, just not be lazy, bring it out, kind of make it symmetrical to the other side and give myself a little bit more room for the, uh, the filter, the oil filter. Oil filter does fit on, there is room, but you got to kind of squeeze it in, so if, bring that out just that little bit. Um, might have to see though, it might, it's really dark, I can't really show you right now, but uh, it is kind of close to the steering here uh, so bringing it out might bring it even closer to that I don't know it should be okay uh, there's a little bit of room and I did just finish putting plugs in and checking with the wire as you can see it's right there um, they all fit nicely uh, a 45 degree angle would fit better on this side than the 90s but it's what I got uh, if I ever do play by plugs that driver's side I'll probably do some 45s uh, anyways yeah they, they fit the only pain is trying to get the seven cylinder um, plug in and out not because of the header but because of where the steering shaft is right there um, so yeah one step closer got a few days off work here I got a long weekend so uh, hopefully get those all welded up and in. Uh, I gotta still go get belts. And I can put those in, put the rad in. Uh, wire it up. I gotta extend some wires because uh, the small block, the oil uh, pressure was out the back here. And on this one, it's down by the oil filter. So I'll have to extend that. Um, I gotta put... I gotta swap out my, uh, again, you can't really see it's too dark right now. I gotta swap out my adapter for my old temp gauge, or my old temp sensor. I have to put in the new temp sensor. Uh, this thing did run two temp sensors, so I might find another place on here to put one. Maybe right up front here, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I think that, oh, and then I got to deal with the valve covers, so I'm trying to find some, uh, ready rod or all thread or whatever you want to call it for there, because they don't bolt way down here like the other ones, they bolt on the top, so I don't need really long bolts or make really long studs. Uh, Princess Auto didn't have small enough ready rod, so I'll have to search somewhere. See if I can get some. Uh, what else? Uh, then just hook up a little bit of wiring. I'll put some oil in a dipstick tube. Um, clean up the wiring in the car, because when my brother had this, he pulled the stereo out, or my dad pulled the stereo before he gave him the car. I, I don't know. Um, I think it was my brother, but I might be wrong. 
so there's some live wires just kind of hanging down for the stereo. I want to clean those up first before I send power to this. Uh, what else do I got to do? Um, finish hooking up the carb a little bit, I think. No, actually, carb's done. Other than the vacuum line to the distributor once the distributor's in. Uh, yeah, it's, she's she's pretty close. She'll be firing up in no time. Okay, a little bit of an update. I've been doing lots. Uh, as you can see, everything's kind of complete, including the 710 cap. Uh, i got the headers painted and installed. All the fronts all together. Everything's hooked up. Get the battery in. Just doing some wiring, getting it ready to fire up. Uh, I said before, this is a mess here. Uh, this one goes my starter solenoid, and this one, I'm not sure. Goes to where the positive on the battery goes on the starter, I guess. Uh, some guy said the opposite. He said the purple goes to the big prong and the yellow goes to the start solenoid. But uh, I did a, a test light on these, and when the key is in the start position, this is the one that's got power. So... Hopefully I can wire those up to it, um, get those in there good. I had to um, uh, switch starters. See, technically this yellow one's supposed to go to a different solenoid on the uh, normal starter, but it didn't fit, so I had to steal the one from the Suburban. And it's only got the big prong and the little prong on it, not two little prongs. Uh, just capped off a couple vacuum line things for now. I think on the small block, my dad had just from PVC pipe to that one. And I normally see the tranny on that one, but the tranny was hooked up to the carb. So, as you can see, I got his carb on here. Um, I'd like to eventually get the holly on. Um, excuse the mess of them just kind of tossed over here. This Edelbrock, I was actually going to get on and get it running with it because that Edelbrock came with this engine and it runs with this engine. So... I was going to put that one on, but this one is all set up for his choke and throttle linkage and all that stuff. So I'll try to get it running with this one. If I can't get it running with this one, then I'll get it running with my Edelbrock. And then eventually when I get it running and stuff, because I've never had anything running with that Holly, I'll eventually I'll like to put the Holly on. Um, and actually my landlord was over yesterday and took a look at the car and said he's got a nice Holly double pumper 750 I could probably get for cheap so I might eventually upgrade to that one um, yeah I just got to do not the valve covers on I can run the uh, heater hose lines um, just got to finish up the starter wiring do the plug wires um, once I get my gauges hooked up I got new gauges Nothing special, just cheap autometers. Um, just wiring those up right now. I'll go into a dash and show you in a second, the nightmare that's under there. Um, but once my gauges are wired up, um, I'll spin the distributor, well, the, the pump with my distributor tool and make sure I get oil pressure through everything. And then, uh, and put the distributor in and she should be ready to fire up uh, if there's no other complications as you can see it's a mess down here uh, the only ones I've done are those which I'll zip tie up but the, like the tack wires I think that's supposed to be power for the tack it's not hooked up and electrical tapes uh, there's some awesome more wiring for the tack this is the ground for the tack a uh, whole bunch of other just wiring I did clean up there was some wires around here that I have no idea where they are or go to you can see this little orange wire over there came out spooled around all over here no idea where it goes it goes under the carpet so I'm thinking maybe it's a light for in here I don't know I'll try to hook it up at some point I thought the wires down here were for the stereo but I know I found the stereo wires um, yeah, uh, headlights are hanging. 
bikes are ripping. Um, yeah, it's it's a real mess under here. Not surprised though. I mean, my dad did have this car, my brother did have this car, and uh, it's how many years old? Fifty three years old. So uh, yeah, um. Not surprised. I don't think I've ever bought a vehicle that didn't have a mess under the dash, other than uh, my avalanche. <laughs> Everything else was a nightmare. <sighs>